Hello, Car here today with another YouTube video. Just picking up my kid from school. Um, and so uh, he's recording while I while I talk. Um, so basically, today I want to do a video, um, about a five minute video, on things that I wish someone would have told me when I started ministry back in 2005, 2006. You know, um, there's some, some things that I've learned over the years. And uh, if someone would have told me, uh, I think life would have been much different. So I want to share a couple of those things with you today, three or four or five things. And uh, you can share them with others. Or if you're going to ministry yourself, these things will help you. Will help you. Uh, and uh, you can share them with others and, and really try to, to help people understand before they go down this road if this is what indeed what they want to do. So number one is ministry is a lifelong. It is lifelong. If you take up the plow and begin plowing into the hearts of human beings for the gospel of Christ, and you begin and you look back and you stop doing it, um, then you won't finish your race. You won't finish your course. You know, Paul emphasized that he had to finish his course. He had to finish his race, and uh, that's biblically what we should do. So ministry is lifelong. What you see in the denominational churches a lot of times are people. You know, run a ministry for six months, a year, and then you never see him again. That's not really biblical. Those who, who get into ministry are there for life. So if you can't make that kind of commitment, then don't do it. Number two is, is Jesus said, according to Paul, that uh, ministers need to make a living from the gospel. They need to make a living from it. So that means that you have to get some type of schooling with the way the modern church is usually you have to get some type of schooling that is going to make you available to get hired by a church as a minister or an evangelist or or what have you in order to get paid for the gospel because when jesus said make a living from it you know it's layman terms for you need to make money to support your family and your kids from the gospel um you know, it could mean in other countries it could mean food and things like that, uh, but but more often than not you need money to live and that's what that means. Okay, so another thing is is uh, the third thing is um, is that the people business is very difficult. If you are not are the type of person that can't handle conflict or uh, quarrels and arguments and face-to-face -face, uh in your face arguments and things like that don't get into ministry i've dealt with it and a lot of other preachers and teachers dealt with it too you will get in quarrels and fights and arguments with people over the scriptures you know you try not to argue you tell them the truth but most of the time at some point you will get yelled at and screamed at and persecuted it just happens it happens to all of us um you know, there's gossiping in the church, people trying to get you fired, people trying to get you disqualified. You know, uh, just like Ezekiel, you will deal with some stiff necked, stubborn, and obstinate Christians. All right. Um, number four is, um, let's see, what can I say about number four? Um, you have to study the word a lot, you have to pray a lot. Who much is given, much is required. Now the Lord will give you more insight into the scriptures a lot of times than he will other people because he wants you to share that with them, share that wisdom with them. Um, but it, it is not an easy life. It makes life even harder. And you have to marry somebody who's willing for you to do ministry. Because if you start ministry and marry somebody that takes you away from it, you could, you could actually put yourself into condemnation on judgment day. You have to finish a race. So you have to be careful who you marry. Okay, so there's there's four or five things right there. That's my lesson today. Um, you know, it's very important. It's very rewarding. But you, you need to know these things before you start down that road. Now, if there's nothing that I can do to stop you from doing it, then you must have the gift. Have a good day. God bless.